So a couple weeks ago, I used caustic soda to melt a stuck seat post on my newly acquired Kona Paddy Wagon frame set. Although the experiment was a success, I damaged big portion of seat tube paint job in the process. Today, we're going to do what needs to be done to get this guy ready to be built up. So before I can repaint the seat tube, I'll need first to strip the old paint, but I have a problem. It's been hard to get my hands on paint stripper before the year 2025. So in the spirit of the first video in this series, I will try a product designed for another purpose that supposedly works great to remove paint. Oven cleaner spray. As usual, before we get started, let's look at what we will need for this project. As we would when working with any paint stripper, we're first going to need gloves. Then, we're going to use some Gorilla Tape to hopefully protect the parts of the frame we want to keep with the original paint on. Once the oven cleaner has been applied, we will need some sort of scraper to remove the paint. For the new collar, any spray paint for metal will do the trick. And finally, we are going to be using a glossy clear coat to protect the paint. I've been playing with a few options in terms of colors and designs and decided to keep things simple. I'm going to match the color of the fork by painting the whole seat tube black. I am using spray paint after all, so I will not attempt fancy designs. Okay, so first what we want to do is add tape everywhere we don't want the cleaner to interact with the old paint. And that will get us ready for the next step. So we're ready. I've set up a little something on my patio. Uh, pretty simple. I don't need as much preparation as with the uh, melting of the seat posts. I'm going to be applying some oven cleaner here. I've protected everywhere I don't want any to go. Hopefully the tape will hold and will keep the um, oven cleaner from the paint I want to keep. So it's just a super simple setup. I'm going to be using all this also to repaint the frame so yeah let's get to it so i put a good coat where i want the paint to be removed now all we got to do is wait half an hour and come back and see where we're at So it's been about half an hour. Let's see how the uh, oven cleaner works. Okay, so definitely not where we need it to be. I'm gonna add some more, wait another half an hour and see if that works. Okay, so it's been half an hour for the second time we're putting the oven cleaner on. And as you guys will see, this is not working really good. Like, yeah, it's scraping a little bit, but I mean, I'm using a knife with a super sharp edge and still not even anywhere near where we're supposed to be after an hour. So we're going to be trying something different. My neighbor actually has some paint stripper, a eco-friendly version. So we're going to try that and compare it to the oven cleaner and see what works best. Hopefully it will do a better job at removing the paint and then we can get on to painting that new frame. Try number three. I just got this from my neighbor um, and this is a non-toxic, non-corrosive uh, paint stripper. So easier to work with. It takes about an hour to work apparently. We're not supposed to let it dry. So let's see how that works. I'm supposed to put about three millimeters at least of this stuff on for it to work. They're also saying that it might take up to two, two or three applications for it to work. So I'm gonna really lay it on thick and see how that goes. We're gonna leave it on for about an hour.
I've had the natural stripper on for a little bit over an hour. Let's see what it looks like now. All right, can we get the paint off? Oh, I mean, we're getting to the... Uh, We're getting to the clear coat, not the clear coat, the uh, primer. Okay, so this is not working. Time to bring in the discs. And the appropriate protection. Alright, day two. Let's see if this works. already stripped I protected it with uh, some newspaper and now all that's left to do is a first coat of black problem is there's bugs All we got to do now is wait five minutes, come back, and we'll do another coat. All right, so last coat is dry. Now what we need to do is put a first coat of clear coat on. Okay, we're done. All that's left is a second coat of clear coats in about 48 hours. Let's see how it looks. satisfied with the results not too sure about the durability because of the fact that I didn't prime it I mean the cans I'm using are primer less cans so it should be okay but I'm pretty sure it'll get scuffed easily and that's all right we'll just we'll just remove it all and start again or maybe strip the whole paint and actually do a professional paint job on it yeah, I think it works. It's simple. It doesn't scream rattle can paint job. So yeah, we're happy. All right, I hope this was entertaining and that you will learn from my mistakes. As always, thumbs ups are very much appreciated. Please consider hitting the bell icon to be notified when I release new videos. Right often, stay safe and we'll see you next time.